Hi, my name is Brian Trummer. I'm a DevOps consultant with Release Team. Today we're going to go over the new UI for Jira Cloud that was released in April 2025. My site just got this release a few days ago, so let's go over how it looks. So typically you're used to seeing a lot of items up here on the top bar. Those have now been moved over here to the left hand side and a new navigation bar here. So let's go over each one of these items and what the update actually does. So you see here you still have your For You tab, which is going to take you to your main For You page that you've seen before. The next one you have is your Recent tab. And in here, it's going to show you anything that you've gone that has been recent. You can also view all recent items if you need to look at something even further in the past. Next, you have Starred. And you'll see here, it's anything that you have starred. So this could be projects, queues, um, dashboards, anything that's starred, it will show up here. You can also view all start items and there is a search bar in here as well. Next is going to be the biggest one. This is projects. So projects is moved over here. So when you click on projects, you're going to see a few things. First there's going to be this plus sign, which is going to allow you to create a new project. You also then have a more actions button. If you're an admin, it's going to allow you to manage projects. You also have a change view option. You can hide this from the sidebar. So when you select a project, it's going to still sit here within that sidebar, your options. So I'm going to click on this human resources project. And you'll see here we get a drop down. And there's a lot of information within this drop down. First, we do have the ellipses that we can come to where we can add this project to start. You can add people to the project. And if you are an admin, you can go to the project settings from here. And if you have the capabilities to archive and delete a project, those are also going to show up here as well. So you'll see here when we click on this human resources project, there's a lot of areas that's showing up. We have our get started tab. You can go directly to the queues and there is an ellipse for the queues so you can update queue settings. And if you have any queues that are starred, they're going to show up here and then you can also view all queues. So when you do click on something, the sidebar will be persistent. It's still going to show where you're at, but now it's going to show you the project. You'll see here, you can find your reports from here, knowledge base if this is a JSM project, directory, once again, a JSM only, channels, razor requests, customer notifications, your shortcuts, and your archive issues can show up here. Kind of the biggest thing to remember is here is that everything that kind of resided in the sidebar when you went into the project still sits in the sidebar. But now you can do it for see it for multiple projects at the same time. So I can have my human resources project tab open over here and also look at this commercial legal service desk and I can see the items there. One area I want to kind of remind everyone of, especially if you are a project admin or an admin, to get to the project settings, you can go to the ellipses and then select project settings and that's going to take you to that. Now it will change what that looks like just because it is for the admin view only. So let's go ahead and go back to our main tab. Let's click on projects one more time. So you'll see the projects that you have listed here. We'll click on the mobile dev one. It's going to show us boards that we can go to. Once again, we're able to go to the more tab over here and get to those same items that I just talked about earlier. And we can also create a board directly from here as well. You can also always go to view all projects when you are in that projects tab. Next we have apps and from here you're going to be able to get to your apps from here. It's also going to have recommended apps like it used to. On the ellipses, if you are an admin, you can manage apps along with view app requests and you'll have an option to hide this from the sidebar as well. If you have roadmaps, that's going to show up here on the left hand side as well. You can view all roadmaps. You're able to create a roadmap by hitting that plus button. You can also select it here on the ellipses and you can hide that from the sidebar. Pretty similar with plans as well if you have plans. You can view all plans. If you have any plans currently they will show up in this space here. We just don't have any in this demo instance right now. You can always hit plus to create a new plan. And once again, you can go to that ellipses. You can create a demo plan from here. If you're an admin, you can set up the configuration for plans and you can always hide it from the sidebar. Next up is filters and filters is going to look very similar to what it was before when it was up here at the top. You can search issues here, which will take you to your main kind of search. 
do remember that you still have a search bar up here on the top bar as well. Clicking back to filters. Let's go ahead and click back home here. You'll see that it's going to show your default filters that you have, my open issues, all these ones that have been around. You can also hit view all filters to view all filters. And if you have any filters that are starred, they will appear here as well. You can also hide this from the sidebar. Dashboard similar to filters. If you have a starred dashboard, it's going to show up. Any recent dashboards that you viewed, you can also always view all dashboards. You can create a new dashboard by selecting the plus button here. And you're able to hide this from the sidebar as well. Operations tab. So this is kind of what Ops Genie is with JSM. So if you have on-call schedules, reporting, things like that, that deals with that side of a uh, service desk. You'll have your options here. So you have your overview, alerts, on-call schedules, reports. You can come over here. And if you have the admin capabilities, you can set up the general configuration or you can hide it from your sidebar. Assets, you can get to your schemas and reports from here by just clicking on it. It's another one that if you do have the permissions, you can update the general configuration from here. And it also can be hidden from the sidebar. Then you have teams. If you have a team, it's going to show the team here much like it's been showing everything else. If you don't have any teams, you can simply create one by hitting the plus button. And it's going to give you a few options. You can either invite people or create a team. And then once again, you can hide this from the sidebar. The last little piece here on this left hand side is the customized sidebar. So from here, we're able to maybe reorder what we want places to show up. So maybe I want projects towards the top because that's what I always go to. A simple drag and drop, a simple drag and drop, and it will reorder. Maybe I don't need to look at operations, so I will uncheck operations. I will hit save changes. And you'll see here, this tab has now updated. It's showing me projects at the top. And now I'm not seeing operations, but it's not gone forever. If I hit more, operations shows up there. One more area to focus on on this customize your sidebar. You can always click the ellipses here. And if you don't want to do the drag and drop, you can move it with this. And once again, you can also hide it from the sidebar this way. So you're probably thinking there's a lot of real estate space being used here with this sidebar. The nice thing is, is that once you're in the area that you need to, maybe you're working inside of a project if you're an admin or you're on a board and you just want to see the board and you don't want to see the sidebar right now, you are able to collapse it by selecting collapse sidebar up here on the top left hand side. And you're also able to expand it once again and you're able to resize this sidebar as well. So this has been an overview of the new Jira Cloud UI that was released in April 2025 with the navigation bar moving from the top over here to the left hand side. Please stick with the release team videos to find out how to work more efficiently in the DevOps space. I've been Brian. Thank you for joining.